A needs to buy 2 kg potatoes and potatoes cost 30 rupees per kg. This means 2 kgs will cost Ian 60 rupees. But he has only 50. Can he buy 2 kg potatoes or can he buy only 1 kg? Well, if for 30 rupees Ian can buy 1 kg potatoes, then for 50 rupees he will get 50 divided by 30 kg potatoes. Now, 50 divided by 30 is not a natural number, whole number or an integer. What is it then? To answer that question, let's understand why we have so many number systems. Natural numbers were developed to help us count. To make counting easier, we introduced the addition operation. As a result, natural numbers could be added at least to get other natural numbers. Then we realized there is no natural number which when added to 1, gives 1. To settle this, a new number 0 was introduced. And this new set of numbers, that is natural numbers and 0, was named whole numbers. With whole numbers, we faced two new problems. First, we realized that no two numbers, when added, give 0. Then we realized we cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number. To solve this, negative numbers were introduced and together with whole numbers, they were named integers. We began to use these negative numbers to represent loss or debt. Integers too had their shortcomings. Dividing two integers sometimes resulted in fractions like 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 3 over 4 and so on. But fractions were not included in integers. This led to the formation of a new system of numbers to consist both integers and fractions. This new set of numbers is what we now know as rational numbers. Any number in the form of a fraction of two integers with the denominator being a non-zero integer is a rational number. This inclusion of rational numbers is the number system is yet another example of the evolution of mathematics. The number system thus formed has space for all numbers. Rational numbers include all integers, integers include all whole numbers, and whole numbers include all natural numbers. So, for 50 rupees, Ian can buy 5 3 kg potatoes, and 5 by 3 is a rational number. Now that you understand this, let's go and play with some rational numbers.